End Computing provides what we refer to as a set of software in the virtual desktop infrastructure space. But more importantly, what that means to schools is that what we provide them with is what we refer to as a shared resource computing facility. That's the ability to use the resources that are available on computers today in a very efficient fashion. So what a school then does is it uh, today may be looking at upgrading from XP, replacing PCs, whatever that may be. But if you or I look at the way we use laptops today and how much of the power of that laptop we actually use, we may use only 15, 20% maximum, unless we're doing something like video editing or something like that. So that's a lot of wasted power. And what end computing technology actually does is it allows you to capture and utilize all of that power that we now have in today's processes. And what it fundamentally means is that you can provide technology to students at half the cost of a traditional PC approach. And what you can see on the stand right in the center there is a server. And what we're doing is we're centralizing all of the data and applications onto that server. And then we're using the end computing technology to allow access to that server. What it means though is everything runs on that server. And it then means that you don't have to go out and buy PCs for every desktop. All you need to do is then use the end computing technology to access the power of that centralized server. It means that it's much easier to manage, uh, licensing, all of these sorts of things that schools find challenging today becomes much, much easier for them. And so their ongoing costs of management of this type of solution is much lower for them as well. The devices themselves only actually draw five watts. And in fact, we have many instances where we actually drive uh, 30 student classrooms completely off solar power. You can put this two ways. Either we can save you 50% of your budget when you acquire this type of technology to put technology in front of students, or we can actually give you twice as much, which is also a very attractive proposition for schools in today's economic times.